This is the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. George Ballas of Houston, Texas, lived a long life. He was a businessman and property developer, a university lecturer and author, a dancer and dance studio owner, whose son Corky and grandson Mark followed in his footsteps into the dance world. And Mr. Ballas was the inventor of the weed eater. The man who found an easier way for people to cut grass and weeds died in Houston on June 25th. He was 85 years old. George Ballas was born in Louisiana. He joined the military at 17. He served in World War II and the Korean War. After the military, he became a dance teacher and executive in the dance school industry. In the 1950s, he built a dance studio of his own in Houston. People called it the biggest in the world. Dance City USA had 120 teachers. Mr. Ballas sold the studio in 1964. By the early 70s, he was on to the next big thing. The idea had come to him at a car wash. He watched the needle-like bristles of the brushes as they went round and round against his car. Could a similar idea be used to cut grass in places out of reach of someone pushing a lawnmower? To find out, he placed lengths of fishing line through holes in a tin can. He attached the can to the spinning part of a motorized grass edger. The result? A revolution for millions of people who cut grass for a living or just to keep their neighbors happy. George Ballas became known as the Weed King. And he once told the Houston Chronicle, a weed eater comes along once in a lifetime. His invention grew into a company which he later sold. Today, his idea lives on in a new generation of string trimmers and edgers that people often call weed whackers. The noise may not be the nicest, but neither is a loud mower. Trimmers work well in corners and along walls and fences. They also avoid the use of chemicals and the labor of pulling weeds by hand. Of course, in the wrong hands, a weed whacker can do damage like any other power tool. The high speed cutting line can whack pieces out of trees, wood fences, stone surfaces, or bird baths. In 1952, George Ballas married Maria Luisa Miralanda, a flamenco dancer and film actress. They were together for 59 years until his death. For VOA Special English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti. You can find Voice of America's daily news and information service for people learning English at voaspecialenglish.com.